Hello, I'm Jenna or Jenna Cat, and welcome to my channel. Today, just like last week, we're going to be figuring out how I ranked in week four of Dream Snaps and I'll be revealing my design from week four. And just like last week, I have to do this in the morning before I go to work because I don't have the patience to wait until my lunch break or God forbid after work to figure out how I ranked. Last week, I was disappointed by my results, but it's okay. It's a new week. I'm not feeling super confident about my design this week. It wasn't bad. I just think it wasn't the best. When I was voting, I didn't see a whole lot of really great ones, but in a couple of discords and on Reddit, I saw some really good ones for this week. Not feeling confident about this week. I don't have any hopes, which is great because so, now I can't be disappointed. And if you don't remember, this week was an outfit challenge. Yes, this week was an outfit challenge, earth and air. And I did an outfit slash a little bit of decorating around me just because I feel like if you're gonna do these you should go all in at least if you want to rank big you should probably be going all in without further ado let's see how I ranked oh I should also note that this week was the week of the notorious tomato photo if you don't know I'm only gonna show a blurred version of it but someone made an interesting picture out of tomatoes. I saw this within my third or fourth photo voting and then I saw it again and again and again and again and I know I'm not the only one who saw this photo a million times which just goes to show that this algorithm is effed up meaning results are probably just wildly inaccurate like I think photos some photos are just being shown way more than others like multiple times to one person. I know people from last week that had some of the best de designs I'd ever seen and they did not rank high at all. That's just a little disclaimer. The system is still really buggy and messed up and the algorithm, there's something wrong with it. All right, now let's get into my results. Oh, I did bring my glasses this time. <laughs> 61, okay, 61%, slightly better than last week, 1,667, wait, if I did slightly, wait, okay, my brain, hold on. I scored better, wait, yeah, I scored better this week, but I got less moonstones? How does that figure? I'm so confused. Can someone explain that to me? I'll have to look into that because that doesn't make any sense. Last week I got 2,500 moonstones. And, but I ranked 50-something, or scored 50-something. Hmm, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Not disappointed, because I wasn't expecting much better. Let's see what I got in my little chest. Last week, I didn't open my chest, because I forgot I even had a chest. And I had pretty much every single item that was in the chest. So, chest was useless. All right, my chest item is... Da -da -da. We've got cowboy hat, which I have. Horns with the green thing, which I have. Those pants I don't have because I don't like them. And yeah, cool. Again, chest. All right, now I'm going to reveal what my design was from last week. All right, this was my submission from last week, Earth and Air. So you had to have, you had to wear brown and green. So I put on Scar's little jacket and a green shirt and the leafy hair and some green socks. And then I held the brown bird. I had Wally in the photo with me because he's very eco, earth friendly. And then I just made a nice little scene with um, a bunch of trees and to incorporate air. So the bird is to incorporate air and the adventures out there balloons are also to incorporate air. I also have an, a balloon arch in the background and a balloon bundle under one of the trees. And then I put one of the companion houses behind me and filled the companion houses with birds so I can get other birds flying in the photo with me. In the left corner is the like pink hummingbird, like the pink ethereal hummingbird. I can't remember what those skins are called. And then we have um, one of the pink ravens and then a fire raven flying behind the raven I'm holding, which I thought was really cool. So yeah, this was my design. It wasn't bad, but I think it could have been better for sure. And that's how I feel about this coming week's design as well. I have zero hopes of doing well on this current challenge. 
Rainbow, celebrate yourself and your community with your best and brightest rainbow themed designs. Oh, I never collected the pride collection. Can I still do that? Oh, I sure hope so. Oh no, okay. And then let's check out a couple fire and water designs. I wanna see if I should be worried. Um, I'm not gonna vote for either of those because I don't like either of them and I don't feel like either of them really have to do with fire. I mean, this one, the sun is in the background, which is like fire. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna vote for either of those. Okay, let's try another round. Maybe I will do better on this week. Neither of those have to do with fire or water. I know what the, the thing was like red and blue, but no, I'm sorry. No. Okay, here we go. This one. This one's fire and water. Raining, beach, wearing blue, holding the bird. Although, I don't know how they met their item commi commitment because there's like nothing behind them, but I'm voting for that one. Um... Man, I am a little disappointed none of these have to do with fire or water! Oh no, I guess... I do like this one, so we'll vote with that one for that one. Okay, this one for sure, because it incorporates fire and water. This one absolutely incorporates fire and water. This one does too, but I think I like the way this one looks better. Um... This one has fire and water, and it looks like a lot more effort went into it, so we're gonna go with that one. And we'll vote on this. We'll vote on... That one. Alright. Well, I gotta go. I have to finish getting ready for work and go to work. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more of my dream light videos, check out the playlist that's popping up below me any minute now. And I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. Wow.